Chapter 4 Lit on Shabbat Again Had weed done more harm than good? Joshua pondered this nagging thought on their sectional gray couch from their TV Entertainment Center playroom while taking in the holy glow of the Shabbat candles from the nearby otherwise dark kitchen as they shined a beautiful blanket of light on top of the torn, dented pieces of egg challah resting on the reformed, ordained challah plate from Target, minus the Hebrew lettering on it. Joshua was reclining, as the Torah instructs you to do on Shabbat, and ceasing all working, which in his case meant giving his creatively jack brain a rest from trying to make the universe laugh on his Do It All Dead Year blog and his Do It All Dead Year podcast in his quest to rise from slug to stud as the star voice behind the remote work revolution, doing his best to get paid from home to spend more time with his three beautiful, beamish, fuss-free kids. On his Do It All Dead Year podcast, Joshua would proclaim with tremendous knockus, controlling our kids with comedy can make our kids great again. And my three fuss-free kids, most of the time, are living proof of it. Joshua's wife was at work tonight, which was the normal routine on a Friday evening, which was a welcome respite from the horror show Shabbat morphed into last Friday night, when Mama was home to get tense over her proud Jewish husband, trying to please God by following his commandments, by performing the prayers in Hebrew, for lighting the Shabbat candles and sanctifying the wine and challah. Why did Joshua's Gentile wife get tense during some harmless Shabbat prayers this Friday night? As his three kids all stood up in an erect, serious fashion, doing their best to enunciate all the holy words in Hebrew to please God and their aspirational do it all data all at once. Because deep down, Joshua couldn't shake the chilly thought of his wife thinking, great, he's actually following through with it, raising our kids Jewish, and all the kids are on board, looking up to daddy like some exalted good guy Jew, who was unemployed again the last three times I was pregnant. I bet he's thinking, I win, you lose, Gentile. Now go go push your Jesus-dominating religion someplace else. But Joshua wasn't feeling like a resounding winner tonight after he cited the prayer over the Shabbat candles, because out of nowhere... His wife scurries into the TV slash playroom to bring back her fake news, non-denominational, white-painted, plug-and-bear Christmas tree on top of the table next to the lit Shabbat candles to shield herself from this onslaught of in-your-face Jewishness, which her Jesus, loyalist sighting, guilt-ridden soul could no longer bear. Joshua sprung into action, threw caution to the wind, knowing he trigger his Shabbat resistor wife all of a sudden and demanded, get the tree away from the Shabbat candles, please. I've fallen in love with the holy afterglow from the Shabbat candles by themselves without having to compete with your non-denominational white Christmas tree for attention. At least you didn't whip out the Christmas elves on the table to show your true colors. Wife freaks out as expected and says, I was just trying to do something nice, yet you're making me feel like I was being disrespectful. She was, and Joshua went down to their garage to puff a one-hitter from his cherished green to calm his enraged nerves a bit, thinking, so this is what God meant about discouraging us Jews from marrying Gentiles. My chest, then a wave of instant calm engulfed his soul as the scrumptious high-end green quenched the fire, burning up his enraged, slighted soul as Joshua got an idea, a rarity on the weed, but a solid idea nonetheless. How could an unemployed father of three regain any semblance of power at home over his wife who's constantly threatening to kick him out of their home and separate him from his three biggest fans in the universe. 
if he didn't start making money off his art or get a real job fast. Easy. Joshua would put his old school IT recruitment background to work and recruit a prosperous, sexier, Jewish MILF godmother for his three kids to make mama jealous and feel threatened by all at the same time.